look out here, look hey, at you. Look at me. Okay. All right, Marty Lurie here with Jared Parker, and uh, boy, a lot of excitement in the camp here, and uh, talking to Bruce Bocher, you're going to see a lot of action this spring. Oh yeah, you know, I'm trying to, uh, you know, trying to help the team out any can, you know, uh, any way I can, get after it. Well, uh, we have the inner squad game today, and you're out in right field, and you made one of those great throws, uh, what would you think of the throw to third? Um, you know, it's uh, just just playing, getting after it. You know, it was the first game on the field, so um, you know, still still kind of getting a feel for everything. So uh, you know, tomorrow's a, tomorrow's the first real game, so we'll be uh, you know we'll be getting after it then. Yeah, as Bochi said, you know, with the injuries, uh, you know, Pence has got the Achilles right now. They're going to bring Span and Pagan along slowly. You're going to see a lot of playing time, so this is a good showcase for you as well. Yeah, you know, um, you know, I, I consider every day, uh, you know, important. You know, every day I go about my business, uh, you know, 110 percent, trying to get after it. So, um, you know, whether it's a, uh, you know, d no matter what it is, I'm still doing the same thing. You know, you know, trying to, you know, trying to help out. You know, it's funny. You talk to a lot of the people in, in camp, and they say, "Who's got the most power?" And uh, they say Pence. But I'll tell you something. Your name comes up second, and they say no one can backspin the ball like you. Explain to the fans what that is. Uh, it's when you, you know, the way you hit the ball, it'll, it'll backspin, which gets more carry. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's not something I try to do. I just try to drive the baseball. How'd you learn how to do that? Just playing. <laughs> um, you know, I've been playing since, since I was five years old, so uh, that's what I've been doing. All right, University of Virginia as well. And you made it to the College World Series. How was that experience? Give me something on that. Oh, it was great. You know, um, we, went, we went for the first time um, when I was the second year, uh, so it was it was an awesome experience, you know, to, to be there with the guys and, you know, to kind of, you know, turn that program into what it is today is, is something I'm really proud of. Yeah, Javier Lopez still talks about it. Now he's older than you, yeah. but he talks about that UVA all the time. Yeah, you know, it's, it's I don't know, I don't know what it is in the water, but, you know, it's, <laughs> we're, we're just proud that, you know, we went there and that we've, uh, you know, been a part of that. So it's just a, just a good experience. All right. Um, also, I like to ask people about hobbies and stuff like that, but, Basketball. This is we're getting close to March Madness, and your team is one of the best in the country. Do you follow basketball? Oh yeah, uh, college basketball <laughs> is my one of my favorite sports to watch. Uh, March Madness is a great time. You know the heart and competitiveness. Uh, you know I think I think Virginia's got a good chance here to to, to win it all this year. I think it's up. Uh, I think it's up for grabs. Now, if you get into it, Bobby Evans, who's a North Carolina guy, he takes these losses very hard. Yeah, um, UVA whooped up on him pretty good. <laughs> UNC whooped on him. Uh, Beat him pretty good last week, so I haven't I haven't talked to any trash, but uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know we'll see when it comes to March Madness. All right, Jared Parker with us. One of the interesting things about you, and I've enjoyed talking to you about it, is uh, travel, and you, you've always gone to very interesting places over the winter. And uh, tell us about this winter, things that you did, and who you traveled with, and how it worked out. Yeah, I met a friend out in Europe. Um, went to a few different cities. Went to Istanbul, mm -hmm. Greece, uh, Switzerland, and then the Netherlands. So. Um, you know, I've, I've always been always been interested in it. Always been, you know, loved experiencing new things. So, you know, traveling is a big part of, you know, what I like to do. Tell me about Istanbul. It's a great city. Uh, you know, really, it's a weird. It's right there on the border of, you know, the Middle East yes. and Europe. So it's it's kind of like a weird concoction of, of you know, modernization yet you know traditional Islam. So it was a, and also beautiful architecture. How's the food? Great food. Oh yeah, great food. That's that's one of my big things when I travel. Is I like to you know have all the you know try all the new food and, and whatnot. All right. So after Istanbul, or first, uh, where did you go next? Then I went to Greece, uh, a little island called Mykonos. Uh, traveled around there. It was beautiful, right on the Aegean. All right. Now Greek food we know is outstanding. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No doubt. Uh, it's delicious. Now, when you go on these uh, travel, do you go by train or boat, or uh, how, do you, how do you get around? I mix it up. Last this past time, it was just flights because you know we went kind of far apart. But year before, it was uh, I did half train and half half plane. Um, the trains actually in Europe are great, so I'm a, I'm a big proponent of those as well. Yeah, they have the bullet train. I went from Rome to Florence, and it took about like 45 minutes. Then I realized that some trains stop all the time. Mm -hmm. And I went from Florence to Lucca, which was about from here to right field, and it stopped about 200 times in yeah. between. So you have that. How do you, do you know the schedules? How do you do a lot of research? Oh, goodness, yeah. Uh, you plan it out pretty, you know, pretty far ahead. Um, but it can be difficult because obviously they're in different languages. So <laughs> yeah. um, usually there'll be like some sort of English translation or somebody who can speak English that can help yeah. you, you know, kind of. That can get difficult, though. 
Do you, uh, well, let's go. Let's continue the travels. I like this. Where'd you go? And so, what's the next one? Netherlands? Uh, Switzerland. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, we went up with the, the Eiger Sanction. It was just beautiful. Um, up in the mountains. and um, It's a great little area. Do you ever run into baseball fans? Do you ever run into anyone that says, hey, it's I've, Jared Parker? No, goodness, goodness, no. <laughs> yeah. um, but I've seen, I've seen. MLB hats. I've seen like some Giants hats out there, and I'll give somebody a peek, but nobody, uh, nobody's, uh, nobody's recognized me. But uh, I'll definitely, I'll definitely see the MLB hats out there. <laughs> okay. All right. Last year, let's go back to baseball for a second. Last year, three homers in a game, a game against the A's. First to do it since Pablo. First rookie to do it, I think, ever in the franchise. Take us back to that day. Give me a little on that. You know, it was just, it really was just another game. Uh, you know, there was nothing special that happened or anything like that. You know, we were, it was a back and forth game. You know, the A's were, I think it was either, we were either tied or in the lead every time I hit one, you know. So all I was trying to do was just, you know, put the team ahead. That's really, you know, you know help out. Uh, I wasn't, you know, trying to do anything special. I was just trying to help win the game. What's your philosophy as a hitter? Um, trying to be aggressive, um, you know. Uh, try to try to stick to my game plan. I know what I can do. I know what I can do well, and I try to stick with that and um, you know, do it the right way. Excited about spring? As I said when we started this, you're gonna, you know, they're gonna take a good look, and you've been in the big leagues, and uh, you know, you want to get back. I'm sure. How do you feel about this spring? I'm excited. Um, you know, like I said, every day I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna give it my all. Um, you know, leave everything out on the table. So, um, you know, that's all I can really do. Um, that's all I can control. So uh, I'm excited for it. I'll tell you one thing, watching you in BP, when you do hit that backspin, when it goes, it looks like a rocket taken off. I mean, it, you must love to take a look at these things. It's majestic. Yeah, every now and then I you get look a little up. peek. Yeah, it's nice. All right, Jared, I appreciate you being on. And uh, we'll catch up with you. But as I say, you'll be in the opening lineup. And uh, we're going to see a lot of you in spring training. So good luck to you. Thank you. All right, more coming up on KMBR 680, the sports leader.